Hey guys, so I'm here today to show you uh, my toddler clothes organization um, trick, I guess you could call it. I did like, it's kind of a hack video on the Sterilite um, three drawer containers. So what I did is I just went out and bought two of the, so this is one, the top part, and then the other part's another one, and I just ripped off the top piece of the bottom one and put the other one on top of it. It fits perfectly, like it's all one solid piece. And what I do is, so there's six bins, and obviously there's five days of the school week. And what I why I did this is because Reed has been in full-time daycare for a long time, but he's also starting full-day kindergarten in September. And I'm just trying to promote independence of him being able to, you know, pick out his own clothes, get changed by himself. He still struggles to get his clothes on and off by himself. He's almost there, but I just wanted to promote some independence with him being able to wake up and pick out his own clothes. And he is so excited about it. He loves... He absolutely loves this. He always says, thank you for buying this for me, mommy. So it has created a lot of independence already. So I think it's an awesome idea. So there are six bins, so five days of the week. And then um, the top one here, I just have his hair stuff. He has long hair, so I just keep in here his um, detangling spray, hair gel, um, smoothing cream, a comb, a couple ponytails, and usually a brush, but the brush isn't in here. And then I just have each day of the week. So Monday is today, so it's obviously empty. And then Tuesday has his underwear, socks, and clothes for the day. And then Wednesday has the same thing. Thursday and Friday. And on each day, I just use some construction paper and he, I wrote down which day and then he decorated with stickers. So every morning he wakes up, he knows which day it is, and he'll open his drawer and get his clothes out. And then I have his hamper right next to it that he can put his dirty pajamas and underwear into. And every Sunday, me and him pick out all of his clothes for the whole week, and it he gets so excited from it, and he, he really is excited about being able to do it by himself. You know, he can wake up, and before I'm in here, he can have his clothes out and ready for me to help him get changed. So I think this is an awesome idea. In Reed's room, he doesn't have a dresser. His bed just has, like, um, his drawers with all of his clothes underneath. So there's no dresser in his room, so I like having something with drawers, and it works out really well. It's, it's very small. Um, I originally saw this idea on Pinterest, and it was the big, like, I think it's almost, like, twice the size of this bin, so it was the big ones, but, you know, Reed's only three, and he, I mean, clothes aren't that big for him. Maybe when he's, like, eight, he'll need the bigger one, but I can reuse this one if we have more kids for, like, a baby or a toddler, so I think this idea is going to be around for a while, uh, for me, at least, our family. I think it's a really good idea, and then on the top here, I just have some shoes he hasn't grown into yet and two of his hats. I've seen some people leave his ba their backpacks on top, but Reed's backpack is upstairs. His room is in the basement. We live in a bungalow, so um, I'll completely forget his backpack if I leave it down here. So we just keep some shoes and hats. And then some people, instead of having a hair bin, they have a shoe bin. But again, I like having shoes upstairs. So, so this has been my video on how I organize my toddler's uh, school clothes, I guess. Um, again, it's just the Sterilite three-drawer um, containers. I'll post a link down below. I got them at Walmart, so I'll post a link of the exact ones I got. Um, I'm sure they can get them at like, Target or Home Depot or something. I just got mine at Walmart. And that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.